Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So those of you joining us on Monday for our Honeybee Fairy House Dreaming Tree event will want to get things ready. So for those of you that don't know, in our group, UK Cricket Creators, we do weekly free virtual events and we always do Dreaming Tree projects. Well, this month we've got three of them. So I'm just gonna take those of you that are joining us through how you install the file and how you get it cut ready. And then of course, on the day we will put it together, but you will need all your pieces cut for the event. I can then go into my downloads and I'm going to select the Honeybee Fairy House because we're doing all three houses. I have paid for the bundle rather than the individual files, but regardless of whether you pay for the bundle or the individual file, you'll see the Honeybee Fairy House folder. We're going to open that up. You'll see an SVG folder. And you'll see that we've only got the one version. So quite often with Dreaming Tree, you'll see there's two folders in each dimensional make. One will be with solid score lines and one will be with perforated lines. This one only has the perforated lines. You can choose to change them to a score, but I personally prefer to keep them as a cut because I find that you get a much better fold. I'm just going to hold down my shift key and select all of those. I'm then going to copy them and I'm going to paste them. I can then open up Design Space, go to Upload Image, Browse. It's going to open up my Pictures folder and I can then start bringing in each of those files. You'll see it's got an image name. I always keep the image name and I also give it a tag as well, DT, so that I can easily find them. I can then upload. And I'm going to do that for each of those image files. You'll see there's 14 files and we need to select each of them and insert to our canvas. So first things first, we're just going to look at the score lines. So because these are perforated lines, we have a choice to either turn them into a perforated score line or to leave them as a cut. If you want them to score, just click on the line itself and change the operation from cut to score. But I like to keep them as a cut because I find that you get a much nicer fold. Now a lot of these are already set into A4. So we've got this piece here, which is A4, and those are the leaves on the stem of our fairy house. We've then got our two sets of vellum, which again are already set to A4, and they're going to go in all the windows and door areas. We've got our flower base, which again is set to A4, and that goes there. We've got this section here, which again is set to A4, and that's part of the leaves and the top of the base there that you can just see poking through. This white glitter set again is set to A4, and that's all those little glitter accents that you can see there. The yellow part of our bees are already set to A4, and that's those pieces there and their black bodies are already set to A4. We've then got this purple flower. Again, we don't need to do anything with it. And then we've got the blue part of the flower, which we can see there. Now with that one, there's a strange little dot right there in the file. It's not meant to be there. We don't know why it's there. So all I'm going to do is open up my contour, which is at the bottom of my layers panel. And I'm just gonna select that little dot or square and remove it. They can then go over here. This piece here is set to A4. And it forms part of the base pieces and you are going to see remnants of it. So you do want to think about the colour of cardstock that you're going to use because you are going to see it peeking through. 
And the same with this file here, you're going to see it just peeking through a little bit. So think about the color and those two colors need to be the same. Now this one is already set to A4, but this one is set to 12 by 12. So if you want to cut it out in A4, all we're going to do is duplicate it. On the duplicate, we're going to select the cut layer and open up our contour. And we're just going to contour away that bottom layer of cuts. And then if we select the other scoring or perforated cut lines, we can contour those away by selecting them like so. That section is now set to A4. We can then select this one click on the base layer cut, open up our contour and contour those away and then close that down and we can then select the perforated cuts, open up our contour and contour away that top section and that's then A4. This area here Again, we're going to duplicate it. And this is our base piece here and the top of our stem. So you are going to see them. I'm going to select this one first, click on the main cut, go to my contour. I'm just going to contour away these pieces. I can then select the perforated lines, open up my contour and I can contour those away. And then the same with this one, I'm going to select the base layer, open up my contour, contour this piece away, and then select those perforated lines, and I'm going to remove all of these ones by hiding all contours, and then bringing back the ones that I want. That then leaves me with these ones here. They're just over A4 and they are the pattern pieces of our house. So these pieces here with the checks on. And again, all we're going to do is duplicate it. If we select this version here, we're going to select the base cut, open up our contour, remove those bottom pieces. We can then select the perforated lines and we can come in and remove those. We can then select this one, select the base pieces, open up our contour, contour away that top layer, and then we just need to contour away that top line of perforated cuts. So we've now made everything A4 appropriate. The only other thing we need to do is actually all of those layers with those perforated cuts we need to attach them to their base cut. They're currently only grouped and they need to be attached. So I'm gonna attach those ones and these ones and these ones, those ones there, these ones, these ones, these, these and these and that's it they are then ready to go and then of course we're ready for the event as always thank you for watching if you've got any comments or questions you can ask them below or you can ask them in the group on the event post and we will of course help you and get you ready for the event as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye